And welcome back to another episode of Enigmatica 6 Expert. Where today, well, we're going to dive into some magic. Why? Well, last episode, we set up the isotopic centrifuge, we started turning uranium hexafluoride into a fissile fuel, and we could now fire up our nuclear reactor. Uh, but there's a slight issue with just jumping straight into uh, using the nuclear reactor. And that is the nuclear waste that's going to get generated. Um, now, we can pump it out into like radioactive waste barrels. Uh, these things. And it will slowly decay. And I think when it decays, it kind of turns into nothing. I think that's how that works. I don't think it like turns into another fluid. So, oh, and actually it did show you there. So you lose 0 0.083 millibuckets of tick really we kind of want to be reprocessing this nuclear waste and we can either turn it into plutonium with an isotopic centrifuge which you turn that back into more fissile fuel there's a little bit of processing that would go on there but if you check it through the solar neutron activator you get polonium which we use for making polonium pellets um, doing some cool stuff in the supercritical phase shifter which I don't think we're doing today uh, and polonium pellets are used for all sorts of upgrades but if we want to reprocess that radioactive waste, we want a solar neutron activator. I've just been looking through the quests to figure out where we're going. Uh, where are we? Uh, so atomic alloy. Actually, yes, that requires our plutonium, so we could make that. Because that's just the isotopic centrifuge. All right, that's not too bad. Ultimate control circuits. End of slide. Oh, okay. Uh, maybe we don't need to dive straight into the magic side of stuff. Huh. Now, you know what, I think, I think I do though. Um, even just for a change of pace, <laughs> for a little bit. So, if we start looking at, and this is the uh, master magic quests, we sort of come down terrestrial agglomeration plate, Alvin gateway, celestial altar, whatever the mana infuser is, I think that's like an add-on for Britannia, and then Iridescent Altar. And we can use this thing to craft well, a whole bunch of stuff, but uh, I know it's used for, it's used for solar neutron activators. Uh, you need the Iridescent Altar for doing all of this stuff. And there's some like, cool astral sorcery stuff we could get into, like giving us heaps of, heaps of health and extra damage, and maybe even flight. Uh, yeah, so we probably want to get these because these things are used for turning that nuclear waste into polonium and we'll be generating a bunch of nuclear waste just from this thing running. So maybe we set this up potentially before we get to the iridescent altar, but I'd at least like to start working towards it today. Fixed, fixed. So jumping over to our current astral sorcery altar and... Oh, it's like a blood magic thing sitting up in the sky. Cool. Uh, we currently have the Starlight Crafting Altar. Uh, now, I kind of started looking through all the different things we'd need to get into, and I think following the magic quests is the safest way to go, because uh, it turns out you need like the Elven Gateway, and then it turns out you need Terra Steel. So let's, let's start with Terra Steel. Um, we will be creating that with the... Ter terrestrial agglomeration plate. Uh, I think mana quartz is the only thing we haven't made, but that's just quartz and mana, that's not bad. We may end up having to uh, sort out our mana production a bit more. I wonder if the mana infuse is cheaper. I mean, let's not look at that yet. Uh, but we need to start off with the terrestrial agglomeration plate. So, these runes look pretty straightforward. I've made upgrade matrixes. It's a little bit of star metal. I think I've made this. Uh, infused rock, that's nature's aura infused rock. That was just arcane stone. That's not too bad. Yeah. All right, so just crafting up the mana pearl and we're actually missing, missing a couple of things. Do I not have my wand of the forest? There it is. Yeah. Still in the process of crafting a few more of these incense sticks, uh, but we can take a break from that for now. So we'll do this. That'll get this rune 
happening. It's going to become a thing. Uh, and I think we should have the other runes for this. So it's just water, earth, fire, and air. Water, earth, fire, and air. Nice. So the last one we need is actually this rune of mana, and that should be everything. I got a whole bunch of star metal almost processed. Uh, and then it turns out you can't make star metal uh, from just the dust that you can like duplicate. Um, I'm not quite sure. Well, you can. We're probably gonna have to go the celestial honeycomb route, I think. One of these. It's almost nighttime as well, which is actually kind of handy because I suspect we can. If we had infused rock, which I think we do. No, I submit a bit of that at some point. No, I think I vaguely remember crafting that. Uh, hopefully we're going to get enough starlight to craft this. And then the next bit we're going to be doing is the terra steel itself, which... Like, is there a B we can get this from? That would be cool. I doubt it. <laughs> terra steel honeycomb. What's used to make terra steel though? Oh, that's why it's way cheaper. So if you get terrestrial honeycomb, or terrestrial honeycomb rather, uh, then you can use a mana infuser and it uses 0.3 mana pools, whereas doing it without the honeycomb looks like it requires an entire mana pool. Okay. It's still a pretty expensive recipe with a bunch of stuff I have not automated. Hopefully we don't need too much, <laughs> too much of this. Probably, yeah, we could, I don't think we need to get into any, um, maybe some of this stuff. I don't think we desperately need it right now. One terrestrial agglomeration plate. Nice. Uh, and then, now did that give us any quest rewards? No. Nope. Then we just need to craft that one terrestrial. Okay. I might see how much of this stuff we've got. I think we should have most of it. Yeah, I still need to make that agglomeration plate, but I think that's pretty standard. It's just the normal multi-block. Okay, we should be about ready to craft our first terra steel. Oh, quartz crystal near the quartz. Interesting. Not quite sure. Not quite sure. Uh, but if we convert this into mana quartz and convert that into this. We can't now actually, we don't want to start trying to craft this yet because we don't have sparks. Now, I think we just want regular sparks. I've got quite a few of these actually. So if we plunk this here and we plunk these around here, if we try and craft Terra Steel, it should automatically pull from those mana pools. Oh. Neat. That's pulling from all of our mana pools. Okay. That was actually kind of quick. That wasn't bad. We got ourselves our first tier steel. Uh, so that's completed this quest, which gives us a jaded amethyst. Amethyst. And an overgrowth seed. Now what what is what is this? When fed with mana from a mana pool, it'll grow new mystical flowers. Oh. Huh. Kinda cool. Kinda cool. Don't need it now. Don't need that now. Uh, and we probably also completed the quest uh, over here. Yeah, we did, but there's no quest reward. Cool. So we're gonna want two nature pylons. Spirited crystals we've made, a mana pylon we've... actually I think we have made these. I think they were used in like another recipe. Oh, I might be mistaken. No, we definitely haven't used these. And the Elven Gateway Core we're gonna need. Gold Leaf we've made. Celestial Gateway we haven't. Uh, I don't know that we've made a Rune of Summer. We have certainly not. That looks kind of neat. We're going to need some more Terra Steel, and we need Emerald Honeycombs. I... D emerald. We've got 6.4 thousand Emeralds. 
I assume we have an emerald bee. We have an emerald bee. So we kind of want to stop. Emerald honeycomb from ending up in here. You know, I might just have to wait for that to happen and then I'll blacklist it and then we can start building up some emerald honeycombs instead of turning them into emeralds because I think 6,000 is probably enough for now. Probably enough for now, but I'll catch that. That won't be too bad. Uh, the Celestial Gateway actually doesn't look too bad either. I think we could probably pull that off. Uh, and then just that Rune of Summer and a Rune of Lust. Okay. I think we'll probably have some weak blood shards left. Okay, that might not be too bad. Glimmering living wood. Ah, oh, it's just literally living wood and glowstone dust. Yeah, I think we can probably pull off an Elven gateway. Alright, so we're actually going to start with the mana pylon. Because we need that to make the natura pylon. And then, you know, you kind of need that to even fire up the Elven gateway core. So let's get these first. Uh, so I, sh I think I have... Almost everything. I really wish that shift, cl shift clicking worked. Uh, I'm going to need two of these. Um, I'm going to craft a bunch of these Eterna Crystals. We can probably get them going now, actually. Um, so that is the mana thing over here. Uh, and these need to be split into the four and then this thing in the middle. That'd be pretty cool. And I'm making a couple of extra kind of the most I could make without having to go and gather more resources. Uh, we could make the next tier of jet boots, which we fly pretty fast, but flying faster would also be nice. Uh, but that's going to get us these Eterna Crystals, and then we just need Electrum Plates. These should be pretty quick. We'll get eight of them so we can get the two Mana Pylons. Um, and then we just need some mana steel. I think we actually might be low on mana steel. I take that back. That was fine. And then some mana diamonds. That's also pretty cool. Electrum plates. Nice. And then this would have crafted our Eterna crystals. Cool. And we want to turn two of these. And actually... Oh yes. Wait, what? What am I doing here? Each requires two. This one, like three in there, three in there, and then some electrum plates. Nice. And that is probably using a bit of mana or source. This is source, isn't it? Yeah, it's pretty much mana. We'll do that just so that that grows uh, again. Actually, oh, we harvested some mana blooms. Yeah, I think I did this off camera, uh, planting a whole bunch more of these mage blooms. Because uh, I was a little bit short on them. So I figured we'll just have a bunch sitting there ready to go for when we need them. And same with wheat. Maybe I want some bread. Now, why did you stop? Did I miscalculate? I must have miscalculated. That's all right. Uh, cool. So there's our two mana pylons. We can chuck these Eterna Crystals away. Still haven't tried to convert that B. Uh, and then we immediately want to try and turn these, if I could remove them, uh, into Nature Pylons. So we're going to need some Spirited Crystals. So it was two per, so we need four. That looks like that's easy enough to get. Uh, we need another Terra Steel and we need this Glimmering Living Wood. Well, that's easy. So it's just really another three Terra Steel. Okay, we might have the mana to pull that off. We might be getting short of these other things. So we need another three. All right. All right, this, this is probably the sort of situation where I should think about automating this. But I'm not going to. Not today. Now I'm hoping, hoping our mana is going to hold up for these crafts, which I haven't really organized 
my mana production great. I mean, this is nice because I don't have to touch it, but it's it's not exactly the most mana production. So I might have to look at getting a good mana generation set up. But that should be the four Terra Steel we're going to need. We should have the Spirited Crystals. Nope. Oh, they're just finishing now. Well, that's two of them. Ah, uh, and that's enough to start crafting this at least. I'll settle for that. Probably by the time this one gets crafted, um, the others will be on the way. So one in there, one in there, and yeah. You know the drill. Here we go. We might be starting to chew through some sauce. I don't know. Oh, it pulls from quite a wee way away. That's kind of neat. I didn't realise it did. Uh, oh, did it finish? Nice. An Atrio pylon. Cool. Cool. Ah, right, and then we're just waiting on that spirited crystal. Yeah, it's still happening. And neat. That's going to be our second Natura Pylon. Cool. Um, and then we need the Elven Gateway Core. Right, and this is where it gets more complicated. <laughs> so I've got Emerald Honeycomb now. We've got them. Right, let's start on these. So Glimmering Living Wood, that's pretty simple. And I think the Elven Gateway Core itself... Like the multi-block, we can't really see what's involved through here. But I suspect if you look at this. Um, we need three, three Glimmering Living Wood plus what we use for this. So five Glimmering Living Wood. Nice. That's pretty simple. And then the rest of it is... Uh, just living wood, right? I suspect we've got enough of that. I think we might need eight. <laughs> cool. Uh, but then, yeah, I need to craft all this stuff. Uh, hopefully we've still got some air runes left over. But we certainly won't have all of them. Oh, we got heaps of air runes. Nice. And this will be a rune of summer. Now, oh. Oh, we're out of mana. Okay, I really need to sort out my crop growth. <laughs> now, I did I did build this plant gatherer. Um, you know what? We could probably just hook this up here, right? Um, so you got a pretty small working area. But if we were to break you, now now this used to all be set up with like a create thing and I was piping stuff out and uh, yeah, I don't know what happened, but uh, I kind of logged back on and everything had been deleted, which was uh, interesting, interesting. Um, so the middle is kind of, kind of here, but if we shift click, no, you still face that way. Okay. One of these. If we had a range upgrade, uh, something like that would be cool. We'll get one of them, and then for now we'll quantum entangle up just because I think I have any power cables over here. Actually, we could get a solar. We've got solar panels. Um, wait, why do I have so many solar panels? Oh, anyway, that's filled that with power. I suspect you would harvest that if it was fully grown. Oh, you did, but you didn't plant it. Oh. Which means we need a plant sower. All right, so it's uh, still in progress, still in progress, but we've got this big farm area. Um, I'll probably sort that in between episodes, and we've got a plant sower down here, and if we show the working area. Yeah. Now, uh, maybe building up this high was a mistake. It kind of, it's the same level as all of this, but then it's way lower than this. I'm not quite sure. This may have been a mistake. Uh, I mean, we can always like dig underneath and have something. I don't know. We'll sort something out. Maybe this can be like our mana production area in here. Who knows? Who knows? But this is finished. We are ready to craft that. 
Uh, if I have a, a bit of living wood. Inventory is becoming a mess. Let's just buff seeds and stuff in there. I'm sure I'll never regret doing that. One of them and... How do we get all our other runes back? That's always nice. So that's our rune of summer. Then we just need this rune of lust, which I think... Do we need two runes of summer? We totally do. Okay. All right. So with a rune of summer, a rune of air, two of these resonating gems, and a blood shard. This is going to get us this rune of lust. Um, and doing a little bit more work on the farm while I was waiting for stuff to happen. Uh, uh, maybe. Maybe. I'm not entirely convinced, <laughs> but it'll work. It'll work. So we should be able to, once I run some power anyway, um, chuck seeds in different sections. So I'm not quite sure how it works. I assume if you get seeds and say you put these here, you should end up with like a section that represents one square out of nine, um, getting that sort of seed. And then we can put a different sort of seed here. And yeah, we can get nine different plants growing. And that'll feed quite nicely uh, into the bigger setup of this stuff. And that'll be kind of cool. And especially with so much of it, we should have a, a good enough supply of food to keep things running. That is the plan at least. That is the plan at least. And this is almost, almost halfway done. And the final rune, I think we have to craft for now. And oh, we got this rune of summer back. Did we? Yeah, we did. That's cool. That's cool. I wasn't sure if we would or not. It's probably nice to have a spare one. Uh, you can go there. So, I think this is all the runes. The only thing we're missing is the celestial gateway. Oh, and we have power on our uh, plant gatherer, just with a solar panel. And again with the solar panel here, because uh, you can waterlog uh, mechanism cables. Uh, and I just stuck it up in the air instead of having it flush because I want to be able to access it. But we might be able to bring this down uh, once we get all the like piping and filtering and stuff set up to, to ensure we always put like some seeds and food back into that sower so it'll uh, keep planting. But if we pop up here, I've been assembling this. So we're missing the rune of summer, the rune of lust. And then it was, oh, two tier of steel I still haven't made. And I still haven't made the celestial gateway, which actually doesn't look too bad. Do we have glass lenses? We've got one. Oh. Oh. <laughs> uh, actually, can't we, can't we craft them? Totally can. We're missing, oh, I've got to do the infusing thing. All right, uh, well, we're part way there. Let's, let's leave it there. Well, we got ourselves some cool decorations because I haven't quite finished all the crafting and hold, there's a lot of plant eating going on here. Let's, let's fly away. That's weird flying from this view. But uh, yeah, still in progress, still in progress, but uh, making our way towards uh, finishing off some more of that magic master quest, which is going to be handy for reprocessing some of that nuclear fuel. Which technically we could have running now, but we kind of don't need the power while we're focusing on magic. So we'll come back next time, dig into some more Enigmatica 6 Expert, and I suspect uh, we're going to get that Elven Gateway sorted pretty quickly, pretty quickly. But anyway, it's been Classic Duff. Thanks for watching, and I'll uh, see you in the next one.